Art is a great form of expression and our ancestors knew it very well. We used words and they used the symbols carved out in rock. They must be having really great meanings, right? Deep meaning hidden inside them. Hello friends. So today I am in a historical place. Uh, this is a place where you know Chhatrapati Shambhaji Maharaj was caught up by Mukherjee Khan, and then he was killed later in Pune, near Pune. And uh, this is a place. So in this village only uh, there is like one old house where uh, Shambhaji Maharaj was up for meeting, and then he was later caught up. Here we have a beautiful temple that I'm going to visit now. So let's see how it is. As I move through the narrow steps, it's really hard to believe that a temple like this, a giant temple like this, exists ahead. I can see all leaves have fallen. There are like plants grown all around the walls and steps. It gives a good aesthetic feeling and good ambience to overall temple. And I'm happy to see. that the temple is not painted by the local villagers like all the temples in india the temple is around 1600 year old built in the era of chalukyas as you enter you can see the beautiful ceiling and entrance the ceiling looks like some mandala art and as you go in you'll see the pillars that have again beautifully carved there are some yakshas on the pillars as found in other temples one of the favorite thing about this place is you can feel the sound of silence if you're all alone and there is no one inside There is a lot of peace there, especially in all the Shiva temples that I've visited so far. Every piece of carving is a masterwork, like every other Indian temple, but unique in its own way. A lot of lot of details and storytelling. One of the hidden corner has this beautiful depiction of. the shautas that is the 10 avatars of lord vishnu and the samudra manthan in the right side which is called as a churning of ocean every symbol has a meaning every symbol has a story to tell and yes it takes a lot of lot time to look and find it it's not just one day visit that is going to help as you come out of the temple you'd find this statue of chhatrapati sambhaji maharaj this is the same place where he was caught by mukrib khan and later killed near pune in that sense this village feels cursed but actually it has a great blessing also of the ancient temples that are present here apart from the temples there are some really cozy cool looking houses that are really feel attractive if you are a photographer you won't miss this so the typical kokni style houses that you won't see now if you want to visit this place and know the details you'll find it in the description below thank you for watching